Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, a retired professor from QZ. We are solving the third module of QZ University question, April 2019. The question is, a cube, 40mm side, rests on HP on a corner, rests on HP on a corner with the solid diagonal vertical. I repeat, a cube 40 mm side rests on HP on a corner with the solid diagonal vertical. What is a cube? A cube is a square prism whose height is equal to the side. It's a cube. A cube is a square prism whose height is equal to the side of the cube. So there is only one dimension for a cube. For a cube in a particular dimension of a cube 40 mm means the sides are 40, the sides are 40, and the height also is 40. This is a cube. This is a cube. Sides are 40 mm side, or the base is 40 mm side, top is 40 mm side, and the height also is 40 mm. How many rectangular, how many square faces? 1, 2, and 6 on the sides. Uh, 4 on the sides, total 6. 1, 2, then 4 on the sides. 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6 square faces. That's a cube. So a cube here is resting on the ground on a corner with the solid diagonal vertical. Okay, that's the question. I keep this simple position. What is this simple position? All square faces on the sides or all the lateral square faces making 45 degrees to VP. If you extend this 45 degrees, if you extend this 45 degrees, if you extend this 45 degrees, if you extend this 45 degrees. All lateral, all four lateral faces making 45 degrees to VP. Or you can say all four base edges making 45 degrees to VP. Okay, this is the simple position. Now, what is a solid diagonal of a cube? A line connecting a corner to the opposite corner of the opposite face is called a solid diagonal. So, this is a solid diagonal. Connect this corner to the opposite corner of the opposite face. This is a solid diagonal. Agreed? There are four corners of the base, four corners of the top. Therefore, there are four solid diagonals. Four possible one, 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 two, three, four. Four possible solid diagonals. Okay. Now, I keep this simple position. What is this? This is a solid diagonal. This is a solid diagonal. Agreed? The question says it is resting on HP on a corner. It is resting on HP on a corner with a solid diagonal vertical. Now, if this is a solid diagonal, I can draw an x1 by 1 through this corner. x1 y1 through this corner so that the solid diagonal is perpendicular to this x1 by 1 and then you can draw a new plan I have drawn projectors through 1, 2, 3, 4, all points. Then, A is this much below XY, A as well as E, as well as C and G. All four points are this much below XY. Take the distance, mark it off on the projector through A, A dash. I get A1, E1, A2, C1, 
and G1. Same point. Projected through G dash will pass through A dash because that is a solid diagonal which is kept perpendicular to HP and X1 by 1 is perpendicular to that. Okay. Now, D, da, D and H are this much below on the projected through D. D1 H1 B and F and B and D B and D B and H okay now B and F are this much below B and F on the projector through B dash B1 F1 you have got all the 8 points. There are 8 points on the cube. You have got all the 8 points. Now you have to connect them. You are looking in this direction. The top face EFG should be visible. Make it firm. GC will be visible. A1, G1 coincide. AG is a solid diagonal which is kept perpendicular to HP or vertical. So its plan will be a point. A1, G1 is a point. This is the auxiliary plan. We have used auxiliary projection method. If you draw the same question by redrawing method, what you have to do is take this AG and draw a vertical line. A1 dash. Take the distance AG to reduce the error I am measuring the distance. What is this A1 dash? G1 dash. Agreed? Take this distance and this is a center, draw an arc here. This is a center, draw an arc here. Which distance? This distance. Take this distance. Take this distance and A ascender, cut this and this ascender, cut this. Connect them. Since I am not following correct dimensions, there can be small errors. There can be small errors. So this is A1 dash, G1 dash. This is E1 dash. F1 dash, H1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash. You have reproduced the you have reproduced the elevation. You have reproduced the elevation with the AG vertical. I can slightly reduce this distance. The elevation is reproduced. Draw vertical projectors. Draw vertical projectors now. Draw horizontal projectors. E1 dash, E1, A1, F1, G1, H1, B1, C1, sorry, C1, B1, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, S. You are looking in this direction, the top will be visible.
one f one g one h one a one b one c one d one the vertical solid diagonal a g c to a point a one g one this is g one a one this is straight drawing method this is auxiliary projection method I hope you understand this is a very simple question only one tilt only one tilt therefore this is a very simple question uh, if you are happy with the presentation please subscribe my channel and share this among your friends and uh, like it okay thank you in the question from section of solids in the module module 3 we have got a hexagonal prism 30 mm side of base 60 mm axis resting on its base on the ground with two lateral faces rectangular faces perpendicular to vp that means two base edges perpendicular to vp okay i have drawn the plan and derivation 30 mm base side 60 mm axis now this is cut by a cutting plane perpendicular to vp and inclined to hp by 50 degrees inclined to hp by 50 degrees passing through 12 mm below the top point of the axis this is the top point of the axis 12 mm below the top point of the axis cutting plane perpendicular to vp and inclined to hp by 50 degrees okay where does it cut a da 1 dash 2 dash ag and bh are there therefore 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash when it when i drop them to the plan 1 dash will come at ag 1 2 will come here 2 3 will come here 4 and 5 have to drop down by a vertical projector this is 3 i mean sorry this is 4 This is five. This is six. Hatch this. This is a dark line. Okay. Once you draw the cutting plane, you are supposed to darken the portion remaining below the cutting plane. So these lines are to be darkened. What does it indicate? It indicates that this darkened portion remains and the other portion removes. That goes. So this is the sectional plan. This is the sectional plan. The hatching are to be done at forty-five uh, degrees to the x-y line, forty-five degrees to the x-y line, and they can be one to one point five millimeters apart for good appearance. Okay. So sectional plan is complete. Sectional elevation is completed. Now you have to draw the crucial. You have to draw a line parallel to the cutting plane x one y one. Draw projectors perpendicular to x one by one. One, you get one one two. Take this distance from x y and mark here. You get two one three. You get three one. Somewhere here is four one. Somewhere here is five one. Somewhere here is six one. Connect them. Connect these points. Hatch this at forty-five degrees to zero zero one. How do you locate the points in the true shape? Take the distance of each point from x y. Take the distance of each point from x y and mark on the respective projector from x zero zero one. This is x zero zero one. This is x one by one. This is drawn. X one by one is drawn parallel to the cutting plane outside the drawing, outside the elevation, and from each and draw projectors perpendicular to x one by one. Then on each projector, mark off the distances of the point from x y. Mark it off from x one by one on the respective projector. That is the truth. It's a reasonably simple question. I hope you understand. If you are And if you find it easy to understand my explanation and arguments and drawing easy to follow, please subscribe my channel, share it among your friends, and like it. Okay. Thank you.